In this exercise, you will create the elements necessary for PI OPC interface monitoring, including monitoring of the PI in O1 server. After reviewing what configuration data is required for the elements to function, you will locate the required data and configure the elements appropriately. You will review the analyses and determine how they are used for monitoring and what triggers them. You will simulate a failed interface service by triggering analyses to produce event frames and notifications and review these outputs. Refer to the PI architecture diagram provided in the scenario at the beginning of this course manual to get the machine name of the interface node. For this exercise, you will be focusing on the standalone instance of PI interface for OPC. In this course, you will only create the elements for the PI in 01 PI interface node machine and only for the standalone PI OPC interface instance on it. In PI System Explorer, in the browser, right click the PI school element in your database and select New new child element. In the choose element template window, ensure reference type domain server is chosen and select the PSM server basic template. You will see a new server element under PI school in the element structure. For now, we just need a server element to exist so we can create the interface component under it. The element will have a default name indicating that user input is required. Select the attributes tab in the viewer. This element uses the same template as the PI SRV01 element that you created previously, so the attributes and analyses will be the same. You will need to fill in certain details that were provided at the beginning of this document in the target attribute. Target will be the machine name for the server, PI int 01. The default values for location 1 and location 4 can stay the same. The PI perfmon point source will be set to the point source for the perfmon instance that is retrieving the performance counters for this server, in this case, PI monitor 01 underscore PERF 01. Ensure that the values you have entered look exactly as shown. Check in your changes and refresh the view. At this point, your hierarchy should appear as shown. There are additional attributes on the server template used to monitor the overall availability status of the server and in certain cases can be used to suppress notifications when a server or component is unavailable. To create the tags for PI point data reference attributes, right click on the PI int 01 element in the browser and select create or update data reference. The create config window will show the progress of the creation. Once the tags have finished creating, select the analyses tab in the viewer and you will see a number of analyses defined for this element. As previously, the analyses are disabled. You can enable these analyses individually from here or use the management plugin from the navigator to enable them all at once and confirm that they have the correct status after startup. Enable the new notification rules as well. Once the analyses and notifications are all running, go back to the attributes tab, wait a few minutes and click refresh on the toolbar to see the values. You may have to wait up to five minutes to see a value for notifications suppressed as that analysis is on a five minute periodic schedule. Next, you will create the element for the PI interface component. Key things to monitor for a PI interface include overall health of the interface, is it up and running, low IO rates, is it sending data, and missed skip scans, missing some data. Monitoring the health of your PI interface allows you to proactively address issues as they arise. In the PI System Explorer, in the browser, right click on the PI in 01 element in your database and select New, New Child Element. Note that this is an element for the interface instance. So if you had multiple interface instances with the same or different types running on the same machine, you would create an element for each. In the Choose Element Template window, ensure Reference Type is set to Server PI Interface and select the PSM PI Interface Template. You will see a new PI Interface element under PI int 01 in the element structure. This element will have a default name, indicating that user input is required. Select the Attributes tab, find and expand the target attribute. If you scroll down, it should be at the bottom under category ZZZ Configuration. Notice that the target and perfmon point source attributes are already filled in. They are inherited from the parent element. You will notice that there are several items under the ZZZ configuration category that require user input. 
This is indicated by the pencil icon to the left. In order to set the element name, you require the display name and the interface point source of the interface. Interface host data archive name, which data archive this interface is writing data to, and the interface ID are also required as part of the monitoring tag configuration. You must retrieve the required configuration data from the interface itself, which is installed on the PyInt01 machine. In your web browser, connect to the PyInt01 server. On PyInt01, click on the ICU icon in the taskbar to open the interface configuration utility. Select OPC Int Read Only 2 pointed at Pi Server 01. On the General tab, note the point source, Pi in 01 underscore OPC, the interface ID 1, and the server collective that it's writing to, Pi COLL. On the Service tab, note the display name, Pi space OPC in underscore read only 2. On the Failover tab, Note that failover is not enabled. Return to your connection for Pi Monitor 01. On Pi Monitor 01, select the Attributes tab in the viewer. Fill in the values for the interface configuration items that you retrieved from the ICU on Pi in 01. It's very important to get these correct or the tags won't be created properly, and they will not link to the Windows performance counters to get the monitoring data. Note that you do not fill in anything for the element name. It will automatically update once you enter the other values and check in your changes. Ensure the values that you have entered look exactly as shown. Check in your changes and select Refresh from the toolbar. At this point, your hierarchy should appear as shown. Similar to the data archive element, there are several attributes which are PyPoint data references you will need to create the Pi tags for these. Right-click on the PyN01 Pi interface Pi OPCN underscore read only to PyN01 underscore OPC element in the browser and select Create or Update Data Reference. The Create Config window will show the progress of the creation. Once the tags have finished creating, wait a few minutes and click the Refresh button on the toolbar to see values. Select the Analyses tab in the viewer, and you will see several analyses defined for this element. As previously, these analyses are disabled. You can enable them individually from here, or use the Management plugin from the Navigator to enable them all at once, and confirm they have the correct status after startup. Enable any new notification rules as well. Now that you have created and configured the elements and analyses, you will simulate a failed or stopped interface service. An interface service may stop for various reasons, server reboot, service dependency, someone forgot to restart after scheduled maintenance, failure, etc. It is important to know when this has happened so it can be addressed quickly to prevent potential data loss or data unavailability. Select the Attributes tab in the viewer. Take a look at the Total Interface Uptime Seconds attribute. This is a PyPoint data reference linked to a Windows Performance Counter that logs the total time that the interface has been running since it was last started. Go to the Analyses tab in the viewer and select the Operational Status Expression Analysis. In the lower window, you will see three variables defined. The Uptime variable is getting the value for the total interface uptime in seconds attribute we just looked at. The variable Previous Uptime is getting the previous PyTag value for the same attribute as above. The variable op status uses the above two variables to see if the service has stopped or crashed and sets the operational status analysis output attribute value accordingly, which you can see back on the attributes tab. On the analyses tab, select the interface not running event frame analysis. In the lower window, you will see two variables and a start trigger defined. The variable Parent op status is getting the value of the operational status attribute of the parent element, which we reviewed in the previous step. The variable send notifications is checking various conditions to see if it should be sending notifications. First, have notifications been suppressed? The interface's own notification suppressed attribute would be true 
if it had been suppressed manually or if its parent, the server, were suppressed and false otherwise. Secondly, the value of parent op status from above. The start trigger, interface not running, is checking if one, the interface's own operational status attribute value indicates a problem, either it's stopped or crashed, or two, send notifications variable from above indicates that notifications should be sent. If both of these are true for at least five minutes, then the event frame is triggered. This analysis is event triggered and evaluates every time a new value is received for any of the inputs. Remember the value you entered for the display name attribute on the interface instance element. You will need this. Return to your connection for PyIn01. On PyIn01, open the Windows Services pane via the icon on the taskbar. Find the service that matches the display name for the interface instance. It should be running. Right click on the service and select properties. Set startup type to disabled and click apply. Then click stop. Confirm the status shows blank. This indicates that the interface is no longer running. Back on Pi Monitor 01, in Pi System Explorer, click the refresh button and confirm the value for the total interface uptime seconds attribute shows as IO timeout indicating that no values are coming for that tag. All other monitored tags will also show IO timeout when the interface is fully stopped. Operational status should show as not running. Select the Analyses tab and select the Interface Not Running Event Frame Analysis. Click Evaluate and see that the evaluation for the start trigger is true, indicating that there is an interface issue. Select the General tab and click on the event frames link. After the event trigger condition has been true for five minutes, you will see a new event frame for the interface not running event. The blank end times indicate that the event frame is still active. Close the event frame window. Open Microsoft Outlook on Pi Monitor 01. In the student01 at pyschool.in inbox, locate the email for the interface not running event notification. Refresh if it is not showing up. Open the email and look at the content. The event name, which is also the email subject, indicates the name of the triggering condition, interface not running. The table provides some key information on performance indicators. Below the table are instructions to troubleshoot the issue and a link to the event details view in PyVision. Return to PyIn01. On PyIn01, open the Windows Services pane. Find the service that matches the display name for the interface instance and change the startup type back to automatic. Click apply and then click start to start the service. Click OK to close the window. Ensure the status changes to running. You may need to click the refresh button to see this. Now return to Pi Monitor 01. On Pi Monitor 01 in the Pi System Explorer, in the attributes tab, check the values of the total interface uptime seconds and operational status attributes. They should change back to good values. You may have to refresh and wait a few minutes for the interface to connect and start sending data. Select the General tab and click Event Frames. Confirm that the event frame has closed. It will now have an end time. You should also receive an email in Outlook indicating the event has closed. You may need to refresh to see it.